The Geologic Disposal Safety Assessment Program, or GDSA, is a Department of Energy program focused on developing state-of-the-art, world-leading, and importantly open-source software tools for assessing the performance of generic designs of repositories for permanently disposing of our nation's spent nuclear fuel and high-level radioactive waste. The natural barrier system is typically that upper 500 meters to a kilometer of rock layers that are expected to contain the radioactive material away from the surface or the water table for a period of up to a million years. In a repository tunnel where the radioactive material is disposed of, the tunnel is typically backfilled after the canisters are in place with materials that are engineered to contain the radioactive material in the relevant temperature, pressure, and chemical conditions for up to a million years. The spent nuclear fuel and high-level radioactive waste is contained in a robustly engineered package that by itself is expected to contain the radioactive material for several thousand years after the repository closes. Post-closure performance assessment encompasses modeling all the components of the disposal system and integration between process modelers, experimentalists, and software developers. It's a very challenging problem because it involves considering the coupled interactions between small-scale, highly engineered systems with large-scale, highly uncertain geologic and naturally variable systems that take into consideration the chemistry, physics, and mechanics of the underground environment. We have three generic concepts in the GDSA. They're based on three different rock types, all of which are widespread in the United States. The first is the salt rock type, the second is the crystalline rock type, and the third is the shale or argillite rock type. We do large-scale long-term simulations of the radionuclide transport for a variety of slightly different conditions in each of these rock types. We are developing statistical analysis methods to understand how slight changes in the conditions affect the transport of radionuclides in the subsurface. We have very high power computing systems here at Sandia so we can run many realizations of each of these models and have greater statistical confidence in our simulation results. PFlowTrain is a massively parallel, open source, open community code for GDSA framework. The GDSA team evaluates porous media flow and migration of radionuclides for nuclear waste repository systems and these Simulations requires to solve billions of unknowns and we use high performance computing system to do so. We're at Sandia's high performance computing center where we have a bunch of servers which are essentially the computers that the models are running on and there's several thousands of processors behind me uh, which really gives us our uh, computing power behind all the large simulations that we run. As PFLOTRAN developers, we work very closely with subject matter experts. They develop the models, the specific processes, and we take those in the forms of equations and put them into code so that the computer could, could run the simulation, including those processes. So an example of some processes are flow through porous media, um, the transport of radionuclides, um, the decay, the radioactive decay of those radionuclides. Everything from the subsurface all the way to the surface, like biosphere models. The U.S. Department of Energy is responsible for the safe, permanent disposal of spent nuclear fuel and high-level radioactive waste. There are multiple viable disposal options in the U.S. And having the capability to run these big system models to evaluate a variety of different generic concepts is important to building confidence in our options. In the future, this capability can be used to evaluate specific options and also to inform data collection, site characterization, and repository design. One day, the capability implemented in GDSA will be required to demonstrate that a deep geologic repository can meet safety criteria and regulatory requirements. Ultimately, this is an essential capability for responsibly managing the nation's spent nuclear fuel and high-level radioactive waste.